Hey guys, welcome back. While this thing is working, let's talk about what this video is about. So, in my last mailbag video, I showed you five of these uh, boost converter modules that I bought from Banggood, and none of them were working. I bought one previously, which was also not working, but I thought I was just unlucky. This can happen, it's not a big deal. But getting five of them not working is really unlikely. I was really interested to see what happened to these modules, why are they not working. So off camera I uh, revisited this and it did take a close look to each and every module. And I will tell you and show you all the damages and things I had to do to get at least three working again. But I have to admit, revisiting the footage, all the raw footage from my mailbag video, one of the five that arrived, I shot it. There is a slight arc you could barely see and a noise that indicates that a short occurred. And one of them is actually uh, flat out shorted. But the other two are not working, I can't revive them. But I will talk about the three that I was able to revive because there is something really interesting. Okay, I just cleaned them with a bit of soapy water, uh, hot soapy water, to get all the uh, flux off of them. And now I'm going to just spray them with canned air to remove all the moisture. Alright, now they are dry for the most part, so we can hook a few of them. Up. So this one is working, this one is working, and this one is working. These three are not working, and I tried to replace and swap out components, but it did nothing. So they are still not working. And here's the story. So, as I said, I revisited all the parts, uh, all the uh, modules on their own, and uh, in this case I had other uh, modules that I can compare it with. So the first one was, I think, yeah, it was this one, and that was a really interesting thing. And I have to go in closer first. So here's the interesting part, and why this one took me the longest. The IC, I, I reflew all the components as far as I could do, I resoldered everything, and it was still not working. Then I did a lot of measurements, I removed the capacitors to make sure that measurements are right, and what happened was that these two pins, the middle one and this one over there, I don't know if you can see it properly, so this one and the upper one, they have to have an electrical connection, and they did not. So I used a bit of solder and uh, just shorted them, and now it's working perfectly fine. Then I had another one which was not working, and I had uh, another one which was working after just reflowing all the solder joints, so reflowing solder joints might help, and then I had another two which were not working, and then the last one, and the last one, that was really interesting. When I turned the potentiometer in either direction, it just make, made a click, and I thought, well, that's weird. So I turned it many times in a direction to get where it gets to a higher voltage because this is a boost converter and it just kept on clicking and making this weird sound but after I was not getting anywhere I just thought well let's turn the potentiometer in the other direction so it did and it clicked a few times and I could feel it I could still hear it and then all of a sudden it stopped and when I was turning and turning and turning the voltage suddenly jumped up to 28 volts. And I was really surprised. Why did that happen? And I turned it again in this, uh, well, in, uh, I think, clockwise direction was, I think, clockwise was to get lower voltage, anti-clockwise to get higher voltage. Now, I, I turn it further and further, and the voltage get down, down, down. So what had happened was that the multi-turn potentiometer was driven beyond its boundaries and was not making any electrical contact anymore. And when this uh, occurred, I thought, well, let's test the other potentiometers. And then I revisited the other 
uh, boost converters, but still no luck. Just to show you that they now work, I'm currently feeding in 5 volts and now I can regulate it, I can regulate it down to the supply voltage or I can even regulate it up all the way to its maximum 28 volt output voltage. And what is really interesting is, none of these modules were working. One I damaged, I don't know if this was working, but none were working out of the box. When I reflew the solder on one of them, it suddenly starts working. This is a broken one. This is a working one. So, when I reflew the solder of one of them, it was suddenly working. When I used the potentiometer and got it back into electric connection, it suddenly stopped, uh, started working. And when I did measurements on this one and sh noticed that there is no electrical connection and I showed up the pins, it was suddenly working. Am I really so unlucky or is this just a bad product and I'm, or a bad manufacturer? Because they are working. So there is, the components are working, it's not a ripoff, but they are not working out of the box. And what I noticed when I was turning the potentiometers is they are 104, which is 104 is 100 kilo ohms. Wait, oh, that's yeah. So I thought these were 10k, I didn't remember correctly. So these are 100k potentiometers, but you only need a fraction of that. And I don't know why they use these high resistance ones because then you can easily overshoot the resistance and suddenly it stops working and maybe I can emulate that if I turn it even further that's weird with one of these it seemed like if I was turning it too far oh no I just I think the one that behaved that way was the one that was driven beyond its boundaries. So I think one of these is still damaged. So if I turn it too far in one direction, it will be driven beyond its boundaries and have no electrical connection and therefore not work. But if I then turn it back, it suddenly works. So no, the resistance of the potentiometer is correct. It's just that uh, one of these two is still damaged. So either I have to replace it or Nah, I think that's fine. Now this was just a quick follow-up video about these modules uh, to show you what I found out, what could fix them, either reflowing the solder joints, replacing the multi-turn potentiometer because it was driven beyond its boundaries, or to measure the small IC and then to make electric connection if the two pins over here are not connected. You can judge for yourself if either I was just really unlucky or if this is a common problem with these modules. I can't really tell because it's not a ripoff. Three of them are working after fixing, so it's not like there are damaged components installed and all of the components on the damaged ones, measuring them, they seem to be just behaving the same way as these are. So I don't think the manufacturer did this on purpose, but something's clearly wrong. I hope you liked this small video and I really hope it was helpful to determine whether or not to buy them or if you already bought them to fix uh, the modules. Other than that, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!